Go, oh, greetings and salutations, friends. Today, I want to direct your attention towards a Kickstarter project by the name of Ratten Reich, which promises to blend together the best aspects of Company of Heroes and Men of War, whilst being inspired by 40k and the 1984 books. <laughs> Does sound rather interesting, doesn't it? And like a pretty damn good match for all of us. And for the Skaven fanboys out there, myself amongst them, the main characters of this real-time strategy game will be rats, mice, cockroaches, and lizards. <laughs> because, well, why not? As you can probably tell also by the pictures, the theme will be World War I to World War II, and apparently there will also be some interesting little era changes as well. I got the developers to answer a few questions for me, and one of them was that we will be seeing a pretty considerable evolution in the way that war will be waged in the game. Initially, it will be via steampunk means and World War I era technology, biplanes and stuff like that. Eventually, the Ratten Reich will lead the charge into diesel punk with more insane vehicles, possibly even walkers, and after 20 years of warfare, considerably spicier inventions might be going bump in the night as well. As far as themes and settings goes, this is a fairly cool one. And it's been drawing a little bit of attention as well. By the time you'll be seeing this video, there should be about 20 days left to go on the Kickstarter. And they've already got about a little over two thirds of the fund required to fund the game, which is not at all bad for a real time strategy game. <laughs> I even asked the developers, why a real time strategy game? It is the deadest of dead genres. And yeah, they, they pretty much agreed with that, but. They're a bunch of long-term real-time strategy fans and they just wanted to make a good RTS and hey, <laughs> that is a bold and laudable choice. But before I get into my own blue-eyed naive hopes and dreams of a real-time strategy game a Resurrection, which if I was going to make one myself, a combination of Men of War and Company of Heroes would probably be it. Let me throw a little bit of cold water onto the scene, shall I? Because after all, this is a Kickstarter, and nobody should spend money on the potential promise of a video game if they don't have the disposable income to begin with. Kickstarters can often be a rather mixed bag, after all, I... I remember spending far too much money on the Eternal Crusade, uh, not Kickstarter, but fundraiser, and that game thankfully shuffled off the mortal coil a few days ago, long, long overdue, mind you as well. God damn. That game did not deliver on a third of its promises, and may it burn in eternal hellfire. On the other hand, you've also got the kind of middle-of-the-road RTSs, like Iron Harvest, for example. It was... Mm, it was genuinely so close to being an actual classic, but they just couldn't quite get it over the finish line. On the other hand, you've also, of course, got the massive successes produced by Kickstarter as well, like... Everyone's beloved Subverse, for example, which raised an absolutely astronomic quantity of money. So, before you get into any Kickstarter plans, bear in mind again, it is a Kickstarter project. It is merely the promise of a video game to potentially be delivered at some point in the future. Now, with my due diligence being done, <laughs> indulge an old man as he dreams wistfully just a little bit. I have already backed the project myself simply because, god damn it, but we need good RTSs. We really do, and there is so much potential and promise here. There really is. There was a game released a little while ago after a lengthy uh, development cycle, originally starting out as a mod called Gates of Hell Ostfront. That is a game I heartily recommend, by the way, if you're a fan of the Men of War series, or just 
hardcore tactical World War II strategy in general. It is a really good game and it is a huge improvement on Men of War. Absolutely massive and the sound design is whew, terrific. But you still see the flaws in the Men of War design shining through. Like the fact that the game has a direct control system where you can take third person control over units and anti tank guns and tanks, and that's really cool. But the problem is, it's almost necessary because your units are bloody stupid to the point that you can't even like issue a simple attack order to get them to attack a point on the map, move forward, then rely on them to actually fire on the enemy, you know, seek cover and stuff like that. No, like complete idiots, they'll move forward, maybe they'll shoot, otherwise they'll just walk towards the enemy, not firing their weapons and getting slaughtered. It's really, really annoying. If you could somehow, therefore, take the awesomeness of Men of War, the in-depth tactical strategic combat, and toss in enough of the AI management of Company of Heroes, man, that, that really would be an absolutely incredible game. Which is why I am super excited by the idea of one. Now, one of the questions I asked the developers was whether or not they had done anything like this before, and they have not. Not to this scale, at the very least. They have helped out on several other video games projects before, so they're not complete rank amateurs or anything, and honestly, the quality of the screenshot shows that at the very least they've got some really solid graphics designers on their team, definitely. Good art style as well, but they are somewhat new to this particular field, so do bear that in mind. And they do have some lofty ideals, don't they? Uh, one of the things they want to introduce is a bit of good old-fashioned blood and gore again. Ah, oh, yes. Explosions that tear the little rats apart, for example. Goody, goody. And they also want to have several very different factions as well, with a bit of asymmetric gameplay, where the Ratten Reich, the rats, will be the technologically advanced faction with lots of advanced weaponry, maybe some super complicated tanks and vehicles. There will also be um, aircraft call-ins, carpet bombing, uh, support from naval gunnery, stuff like that. And then you've got the Free Mouse Republic, the Allies, quote-unquote, the English and the French little mousies. Um, they've got a lot of soldiers, so they've got a fair bit of a numerical advantage, and they have a ton of advanced small arms. So they don't have the heavy artillery of the Rattenreich, but they've got a huge amount of different rifles, light machine guns, maybe even some SMGs, pistols, stuff like that. And then you've got the Motherland of the Roaches. <laughs> who have really tough soldiers because, well, they're goddamn roaches. They're covered in chitin, and so are really bloody difficult to kill, which makes a certain amount of sense. And you've also got the lizards, the red dragons, and the sun empire. One of their characters is shown with a katana, and there's also this thing. God, I love this thing. <laughs> The, uh, the Death Rider inspiration is quite evident, but it's, it's just so adorable, I don't even care. Look at it. <laughs> I don't know if giant moles would necessarily be the best cavalry in the world, but again, I just don't care because it's absolutely adorable. There's also potentially some plans of introducing um, other nations as well. Maybe um, maybe even something along the lines of a deck builder could be really cool. Bear in mind that's not a promised feature just yet, though they do have the potential stretch goal of unit customization, where you might be able to have a tank with a anti-tank turret, or maybe one applies a rocket launch on it, or maybe a flamethrower, stuff like that. Maybe you could even have a little bit of deck building. Mm. That could be really cool, particularly with the factions with a wide variety of weaponry. Maybe you want to equip a specific unit with short-range weapons, SMGs, pistols, hand grenades, maybe another one with um, rifles or heavy machine guns. Mm, cool, cool. Theoretical, again, bear you in mind. 
There's also the potential plan for uh, multiplayer, full-scale multiplayer, PvP, etc. Though that is a stretch goal fairly far down the line at uh, 120,000 euros, I do believe. Uh, modding support is also a stretch goal at 100,000 euros. And at 80,000 euros, you've got a console release, which... I mean, I see why they would, but console RTS. At 60,000 euros is the skirmish game mode, and at 50,000 euros, they will be two campaigns. So, the base package then will be a single, single player campaign, a story campaign, based around the Rattenreich. Now... Of course, I would love to see them start out with multiplayer as a part of the package, because myself, I don't know, it was, there was a time when I absolutely adored single-player campaigns, like Red Alert, for example, an absolutely amazing game, but recently, man, I, I can't even really remember the last, like, R RTS campaign I really played and enjoyed. It might even be something like Supreme Commander, honestly, really really old school stuff. Eh, it might not be for me in the single player aspect, but on the other hand, it might actually be good enough to be worth the play too. Oof. That's the difficult thing, isn't it? There will, by the way, also be a uh, closed beta, which you can sign up to right now, and you can get access to even if you don't kickstart the project, which is nice. They've also mentioned that even if they don't get the basic level of funding, the team will continue to uh, chip away on it on their own time to try and get a product up and running and maybe get some more funding in the future, which is nice. So if you don't have the disposable income now to spend on a promise, you know, maybe hold out for a while, see if they get through the early uh, funding phases, and then give it a look in the closed beta be a bad idea at all but again man wouldn't it be awesome though company of heroes plus men of war in a bit of a steampunky diesel punky and eventual bio punky meat punk universe Ugh. asymmetrical warfare tons of different factions that genuinely do play and fight differently mm. That would be so cool. Like, that was one of the things with Iron Harvest. At the end of the day, the biggest problem with Iron Harvest, tragically, was kind of the theme, the mechs. The mechs are cool, and they look cool. They are wonderfully animated, but they lead to this really slow and plodding style of gameplay, which just... It gets old frighteningly quickly, because it's just kind of slow. That's the problem. It's the mechs. They just plod around the field, and they make it so that speed becomes incredibly powerful. The Polanian chicken walkers, for example, with super long-range speedy weaponry, are a nightmare to balance. Not to mention a goddamn cavalry officer. <laughs> And yet, the infantry combat was actually really, really good, though it could have used a little bit more in the way of variety. Hmm. Anywho, before I get too far into the theoreticals here, I just want to show you this. And again, if you're interested, do consider supporting it, because, well, all I can really offer you is hopes and dreams, but man, I want RTS to make a return. And Men of War plus Company of Heroes, I have been dreaming of the combination of the two for a very long time. So... I'll let you go there and uh, make your own considerations. Until next time, I've been Arch. Thank you all very much for listening, and thank you for your consideration for the Kickstarter project. And of course, as always, have a good day.